New at six, hundreds of fish in Shawano Lake suddenly died in late May. This happened after the largest chemical treatment in the state was used on the lake, leaving some to think the treatment killed the fish. But NBC 26 of Eric Grass takes a closer look at what's behind the fish kill. The Wisconsin DNR says there's never been a documented fish kill after an aquatic herbicide treatment of a lake. And they believe that the recent fish kill here is something people that frequent this lake know is just part of the typical season. The invasive species Eurasian milfoil is a known problem on Shano Lake. A few of my friends said it was terrible weedy the last few years and something had to be done. The DNR agreed and spent two days dropping herbicides into the lake in May. Someone was complaining about something happening to the lake with pesticides and a lot of fish dying. According to the DNR, 341 fish died 10 days after the treatment, but they say they have no reason to think it was from the chemicals. Uh, the concentration that was used on Shawano Lake is 300 times lower than the concentration that's known to kill even a minnow. And in the last nine years, a total of four more significant natural fish kills have occurred here, taking out as many as 1,000 fish at a time. They all occurred between uh, May 27th and June 6th. And it's kind of interesting that this is the exact time frame that this fish kill occurred. Today, the DNR attributes the dead fish to a seasonal fish infection. So as anglers go out on the lake, we catch any keepers, we're, we're eating them. The DNR stands by their claim the water is safe and the fish, they're okay to eat. The DNR says they'll continue to monitor CO2 levels and the amount of chemicals present in this lake to help determine if their chemical treatment contributed to that fish kill. Reporting in Cecil, I'm Eric Kress, keeping you connected with NBC 26.